Why am I talking like that? Because I feel energetic. I'm holding the Adidas 18 Plus Energy Pack. It's brand new. This is the X, not just 18 Plus. The X 18 Plus. I'm so energetic, I don't know how to speak. What's going on, Locos? DK Neo here for another Soccer Loco video review. Today, I've got the Adidas 18 Plus X Edition. This is the energy mode, and I know that at a glance from a distance, the first thing that most boot heads like myself see is the F50. Uh, that's deliberate. There is a new way of doing things that Adidas has like bought into. It's a philosophy. It's called Drillium. The idea is to strip away as many things as you possibly can. Goes lightweight without reducing or compromising any kind of performance. And I tell you, they've knocked it out of the park. In fact, Adidas has specifically designed this cleat to be the sprint spike of soccer. Look at that. Gone. Uh, when you compare this 18 plus to the 17 plus, and you think about this Drillium philosophy, and you think, okay, what could I possibly remove from one to the next, right? Upper layer, gone. This heel counter, reduced. Mid frame, shaved, and yet still so strong. Laces, clearly, unnecessary. This is a marvel. Taking it another level, looking at this Drillium frame, this non-stop grip, gone. Speed frame, gone. Realistically, the 17 Plus, gone. And now, we have the X18 Plus, featuring skeletal weave, and a speed frame outsole that is unrivaled, unmatched, unparalleled, and realistically the best thing ever. Alright gang, we've gone through all the technical details of the X18+, Plus, but this is a game called soccer, so you need cleats, you need grass, and you need a ball. I'm going to go grab some of those. Uh, what I'm going to take with me is the 18.1. Pretty much the exact same thing, obviously, that next level, uh, with laces. The material here is speed mesh, not speed weave, but I don't know what those are and the difference is until I get them on my feet. Let's go find out. So this one feels great. This one feels actually a little bit, uh, a little bit stuffy. You know, I think there's uh, some of that. Traditionally, I do have a wider foot. And so I was very curious to see the process about sliding that in. I was a little bit delicate with the right foot, but for the left foot, I just kind of went straight in and committed. Clearly it's so smooth and sleek. It's interesting how like this bends right there on the, I guess what would be the tongue. I almost even feel like there's that level of elasticity, like reverting back to straight gives me a little bit of recoil. I wonder if that's supposed to help with my explosivity. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It's nice, this is obviously the 18.1, slightly different uh, material with the speed mesh versus the speed weave of the 18 plus, however, Again, like I said, it was surprisingly straightforward to just kind of push my foot on in there. This is some asymmetrical uh, pattern, but I am an adult and I am capable of lacing my own cleats, so at long last, I'm ready to take a few touches. <laughs> this video for you hope you appreciate it make sure to subscribe to the channel um, anywho no X, the X18 plus yeah like I said with with me having a traditionally more wide foot I, <clears throat> I was a little bit worried one about how easy it would be to put these things on for the first time typically cleats get easier you break them in it's not uh, <clears throat> always as difficult the 15th time as it is the first but that was one of my big concerns uh, also just curious to kind of get the touch on the ball I mean this is a new material this skeletal weave is something that I've never seen before uh, I tried to kind of ping a ball a little bit and, well, I did a couple different things. One, when I just went to go juggle and like hook a ball back and put some backspin on it, there was a lot of spin, a lot of texture to it. I was pleasantly surprised by that. 
But then I went to go drive a ball, and I, I mean, look, I can strike a ball, don't get me wrong, but first time that I stepped up and pinged one of these, it was frozen rope. Sweet as sweet could be. And I kind of feel as though that <clears throat> despite not necessarily considering myself a speedy player, uh, these cleats seem to work for my game, and I appreciate that. Obviously, I danced around a little bit of uh, kind of just twisting and turning and, and reversing and changing direction. Um, I felt I felt great. No, so interestingly enough, uh, having worn the 17 plus and the 17.1s, I felt like these 18 pluses uh, they accommodated the width of my foot. Like I definitely feel this this cleat, but the 17s I almost felt like I couldn't get them on, and when I got them on, I just wanted to get them off. And that was in my traditional size. Obviously, you size up a little bit, you can make sort of accommodations for that. But the other concern I had with this being completely laceless. Uh, was whether or not on the flip side my shoe, my foot would slide around. And like I said, <clears throat> it's the second skin. You know, I know I've got a sock on, but I literally feel like I said, when I crushed that ball and just pinged it, like, mm, it was magic. <sighs> Touching this now, like with my hand while my foot is in it, I can, I feel, I feel like I can feel my fingerprint on the top of my foot, through my foot. Like this, I'm right, I'm right here. There's, there's nothing. So, in conclusion, I would definitely buy these cleats. Uh, I think that <clears throat> what Adidas has done in making this 18 plus shoe is remarkable to eliminate uh, all that excess material, all that excess weight, uh, and strip it down to literally the essentials. Uh, I'm a big fan of simplicity, and despite this cleat having a lot going on, it's just about speed. And that's a very simple thing. Um, <clears throat> They were great. You know, actually having played in these after the 18 pluses, pleasantly surprised that these actually give me a little bit more room. The 18 pluses, like I said, felt as though they were a second skin, very snug, comfortably snug though. These cleats, I can tell that I'm wearing them, but th there is less pressure. And obviously I've got a little more control about that pressure with the lacing that these afford me. Um, touch was good. My ability to cut is undiminished. If anything, it was probably enhanced. Uh, <clears throat> the speed mesh is actually quite breathable. I didn't think that, well, I wasn't really sure what type of uh, filtration the air would have. Perhaps it's actually because of this area. I don't know that I felt it so much on the side, but the breathability of the tongue area, I enjoyed. Heel counter is very similar. It's got this nice sort of, uh, I, don't know, I guess with this this Achilles flap that I feel like just kind of holds and supports and sustains my foot in there, <clears throat> and obviously like for anyone who's ever touched a pair of F50s, like this is a throwback, and I think they did a really good job of sort of bringing that feel back. But they've added so much more support. I I, I remember the F50s and they were stiff. You know they were light as all heck, but they were stiff. These things are so much more malleable, so much more flexible. Um, and I think that's just one more thing that Adidas has done properly. All right, Locos, you know what to do. SoccerLoco.com is the place for these. If you would like a pair of your own, uh, four retail stores as well, do the thing. Subscribe to the channel. Support us. Message us. Ask us questions in the comments. We always get back to the comments. We appreciate you. Hope you appreciate what we do, because I'm actually sweating on account of you.